Hi guys, in today's video, I'll guide you step by step on how to create a Windows 11 or 10 bootable USB drive using a fantastic tool called Rufus. It's quick, easy, and only takes a few steps. Let's jump right in. First, head over to your web browser and visit the official Rufus website at rufus.ie. I'll include the link in the description below for your convenience. Scroll down the page and look for the latest version of Rufus. As of now, it's Rufus 4.6. Click on the link to download the file. Once downloaded, open the file. If prompted for administrator permissions, simply click Yes. Rufus will ask if you want to enable automatic updates. You can choose Yes to allow updates or No if you prefer manual updates. With Rufus open, let's prepare the USB. Plug in a USB drive. I recommend using reliable brands like Kingston or SanDisk. You'll see the drive listed under the Device section. Under Boot Selection, ensure it's set to Disk or ISO Image. Next, click the Select button and choose Download from the drop-down menu. This feature saves you the trouble of hunting for the ISO file online. Now, click Download. Rufus will ask you to choose the operating system. Select Windows 11 and click Continue. Pick the latest version of Windows 11 from the release list and click Continue again. Then, select the edition. Typically, only one option is available and click Continue. Choose your language preference. I'll stick with English International, but you can select your preferred option. Next, choose the architecture. Most modern systems are 64-bit, so I'll select 64. Click Download and save the ISO file to your preferred folder. This may take some time, depending on your internet speed. Once the download is complete, you're ready for the next step. I already downloaded my ISO Windows 11 file, so I will cancel the downloading. If you already have ISO file, then you can follow this step. Now click on Select option to choose the ISO file. Image option, you can choose the standard option, then in Partition Scheme. You'll see two options, GPT for Modern UEFI systems and MBR for Legacy systems. Choose the one compatible with your target computer's firmware. For most newer systems, GPT is the recommended option. Click Start. Customizing a Windows installation allows you to set preferences like the username, regional settings, and privacy options. Rufus will warn you that all data on the USB drive will be erased. Confirm by clicking OK. The tool will now format the drive and copy the necessary files. This process can take several minutes, so sit tight. Once the process is complete, close the tool and open File Explorer to check your USB drive. You'll see all the Windows 11 setup files ready to go. And that's it, you've successfully created a Windows 11 bootable USB drive. You can now use it to install or repair Windows 11 on your PC. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tech tips. Drop any questions in the comments below. I'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.